today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Okay. What the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this beautiful Thursday and it is time to go down this pop culture street. Yeah, we're gonna go down there and take a ride at Royal Avenue because we have some tea about the Royals, which girl, I am dying to give it to you. So, you know what, let's just dive in. Let's just talk about this mess at this point. Girl, King Charles, he's not playing anymore. I think like at, at some point he's going to be like, oh, you know what, forget I have a son called Harry. Like, you know, he's, he's just like done with the antics, he's done with the interview, he's done with the uh, documentary you know and now and now there is a new report listen to this that King Charles is evicting Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from the fromage cottage and he is going to giving it to Prince uh, Andrew girl I mean the mess okay let me let's i'm gonna read you first like the news and then we're gonna discuss okay it says king charles the third is kicking prince harry and Meghan markle out of the fromage cottage and gifting it to the disgraced royal prince andrew imagine they taking your home to giving it to another guy who is known for horrible things girl a source is confirming to page six that the incoming king began the eviction process in January, just one day after Prince Harry memoir Spur hit the shelves. So this is a, a hate move. You know, this is like, a, oh, you wanted to you wanted to play with me, bitch? OK, OK. The eviction surely spells the end of Harry and Meghan's times in the UK a source told The Sun. The couple who have relocated to California since staging their Mexit have not been offered another property on the state. A spare contained bombshells claims about the royal family, including an anecdote about how Prince William violently shoved Harry to the floor over Markle and that King Charles will make jokes about Harry's real father. The former royals are reportedly planning to have whatever belongings remain in fromage, which the late Queen Elizabeth II gave to them, to their Montecito, California estate. How, how does that work? Because if the Queen, like if Queen Elizabeth give that property to them, how they can take it away? Like, you know what? This is this is the thing. If someone is giving you a house, make them sure that your name is on the, you know, I'm going to say the list, but it's not a list, on the, uh, scripture, scripture? No. I don't know how to say that in English. But, you know, make sure that the house is under your name because then, bitch, this is what happened. You're like, oh, no, we're family. We don't need that. Bitch, you need that. Anyways, um, 
So let me see what else says over here. Okay. The five bedroom home will serve as a major downgrade for Prince Andrew, who is used to more luxurious dig at Royal Lodge, which includes a pool and 30 bedroom. Naturally, he's against the move. Andrew is resisting the idea of moving into Fromage Cottage after he was offered it last week. The source told the son, but it shows Harry and Meghan are powerless to stop the eviction. Queen Elizabeth II stripped her son of his military titles and HRH styling in January of 2022 for his alleged involvement in Jeffrey Epstein's sex trafficking scheme. The eviction and fallout from Spare appear to have left Markle and Harry on face as they enjoy a night out at the San Vicente Bungalows in Los Angeles on Tuesday night. The date night was the first time the headline-making couple have been seen since the release of Spare. Despite the mem memoir father estranging the Duke of Sussex from his family, an insider told page 6 that the former royal has no regrets. Harry said he was really happy about the success of the book and the reaction to it. He said he had no regrets about any of the revelations and he's relieved to have got his story out in the world. There's been an amazing reaction to it, he said. The source added that Harry and Meghan Markle seem to be in extreme good spirits. Yeah, I think, like, girl, they don't really give a shit about UK anymore, you know? So, like, honestly, like, the whole house and the eviction, I think for them was, like, okay, you know? And then you have someone, like, you know, Andrew, who is, like, crying because he's losing his fairy bedroom mansion to go into this little house bitch i can with these people sometimes like i can like i will be grateful that they're even giving me anything after after he was involved in a sex trafficking scandal with jeffrey epstein like can you even imagine having the the nerve to say anything like the nerve to like complain after such a big scandal and being like Oh, no, no, that house is too small. Bitch, you know what? I would have sent it to like a studio apartment in, you know, a random little town. But, I mean, it is what it is. I think, honestly, at this point, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they are just so disengaged from all of that, all of that, you know, that they don't really give a fuck, you know? And, yeah, I mean, again, it's weird why if Queen Elizabeth give it to them, now someone can take it away from them but yes i guess that's how it worked with the royal so it was not really a real gift it was probably just like a yeah like a list or something you know <sighs> anyways always the royals being so messy so anyway let me know what you guys think on the comments below do you think that they should fight for the thing do you think that it is fair that they're giving it to andrew what do you think is going to happen? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to pop culture or any other Bravo show, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.